One thing you may have noticed that's different from this game as compared to most of the other Kirby games is that Kirby no longer has his special power to suck in enemies and absorb their abilities. The reason for that is most likely because we already have like classes that we can choose from, but still, it's kind of it's kind of odd that he doesn't have that ability. Hey everybody, it's the McMaster 14. Welcome back to more Super Kirby Clash. In the last episode, we completed some more party quests in the party quest area and fought a few more bosses in the normal story quest. This episode, we're going to be starting by harvesting the gem apples, of course, ringing the adventurer bell, and getting our gift. So let's get playing. I say as I already started to get playing. All right, what adventures do we have today? We have the Solo Doctor, the Lonely Sword, the Ghostly Sword, the Hungry Sword, the Chipper Hammer, and the Hungry Doctor. Ooh, we're getting close to, to new achievements. Meet more meet adventurers and ring the bell. Also, we have a gift that we can get from the shop. So let's get that. Also, I'm pretty sure this can't be anything other than three gem apples. I'm not really sure if it can be or not. Alright, so last time we also unlocked level four gear, so let's get some of that. I think... I think, I think, I think... We can get all the lapis weapons for for each class. Lapis staff. All right, there we go. We have all the lapis weapons for for each class. And we got an achievement! Buy 20 pieces of gear! Anyways, now it's time to start some quests. We can only do a story quest right now. Ooh, and we have another ordeal! Uh, it's probably... <laughs> we almost couldn't... We almost couldn't afford this, actually. Alright, 14 gem apples, and it's 10 vigor. And I think I'm going to stick with the same, uh... Same setup that we have right now. Team Kirby's investigation turned, ru turned to rumors of strange, caped men. Sensing mischief, the team followed his footprints and arrived at the ruins on a dark night. What do you mean dark night? It's always daytime here. <laughs> also, we've never seen this guy before. <laughs> Alright, so this is the parallel nightmare. He's kind of like the second boss. Although one big problem with him as compared to the other boss is that you can't really you can't really use your time beams on him too much, but it actually does do a bit more. Like Like see, he, we're almost completely charging up our time beam. Dang, I was so close to getting him. It is pretty hard to charge up your time beam with this guy. So I was actually kind of reluctant to play as the beam mage here. Also, he's getting more abilities now. Also, it is a very good thing that Kirby can fly. Alright, we stop time finally.
All right, nice. We managed to get all the uh, fragments in just uh, just one stop of the clock. So this should get us close to finishing him off. No perfects? I'm upset. That's still 11,000 damage. That finished him off. And in Kirby games, explosions mean that there is no way they survived that, right? And nice, we got a silver medal. And we got more achievements. If you parallel nightmare, guard against an attack twice, and clear five quests as the beam mage. And we can now achieve level five rarity gear. Not that we can actually afford any of it, but still. Team Curry managed to defeat the caveman. Unfortunately, he fled to another side of the, of the volcano. In pursuit of the caveman, and to protect the kingdom from other ra rampaging enemies, Team Curry heads to a new area, the volcano. Welcome back, Curry. Good job clearing that out of here. So who, or what, is that cape man that ran away? You know him from somewhere? Oh, looks like new quests have been added, so watch for those. Oh, and of course, there's new gear in the shop. So we can now get level 5 rarity stuff. Unfortunately, we can't really afford any of it. Like, on my main account that I'm actually playing through to the end, I'm still... I'm like almost... I'm like halfway done with the game and I'm still getting level 5 stuff. Also, no party quests. Come on. New quests have appeared. Don't cost too much vigor. Giant Edge. Bonkers. Wispy Woods. Colossal Triple T. Aw, oh, man! We don't have enough vigor for this. Alright, I have an idea. If we use an XP orb, we'll level up faster, and that way our vigor will recharge quicker. So unfortunately, right now, we're actually going to have to, we're going to, have to use gem apples to do that, which I really don't want to do. Alright, so now we're going to be the, uh, we're going to be the sword guy. That sucks. I really didn't want to have to use any of my, uh, any of my gem apples for this. I mean, I guess we could have bought some codexes that recharge your vigor quicker, because I know that they exist. But still, that wouldn't have helped too much since we already... Since we were in desperate need of vigor anyways. How did that not work? I guarded! Ow. That hurt. Alright. It's a good thing that we have a, a, a healer class. 
Also, I think that's the first time we've ever seen anyone get KO'd. So I think now would be a good time to explain how getting KO'd works. When they're when they're down on the ground. Move! Come on, move! I need to get to him. Oh, he got to him first. Ah, whatever. Alright, when they're down on the ground. It was like way up in the air. When they're down on the ground, you can actually like press and hold down a button that'll heal them up. You'll transfer half of your health to them, but they will get healed halfway no matter what. Also, that was a lot of damage. Also, I need this extra health. And now time has stopped. Oh, get out of the way. He's going to start charging again. <laughs> it's so awesome being back here. Oh no, our mage is down. Our mage is down again. There we go. He's dead. All right, so that is another quest down. Fourteen. 1,442 XP. Does... Yes, that was a lot of XP. And we almost reached level 22. Alright, so that's why I wanted to use the... Through the team of four rolls and earn a silver medal. Nice. Alright, so now I think I want to head back to the shop. A new party quest has been added to the village. That's really why I wanted to use the XPR, because when we level up faster, that means our vigor recharges automatically. And I think I'll get some support items. We have attack potions, codexes... Uh, are there codexes for making your vigor go up faster? Ah, here it is. Codex, codex of vigor. Alright, so we have that. Buy five codexes. Hey, we got more gem apples. All right, new party quest. New quest up here. They might actually be too hard for us to do right now. Yeah, look, tough block. You recommended level 15. We're level nine. Same thing with all the others. See, they're, they're just too high for us to do right now. So maybe if we level up really quickly, we can actually do those. But right now, we just can't. You can say the same. Hungry sword. Ghostly sword. And he will be a doctor. I'm not using a beam mage for this one because we actually need... Actually, this guy can probably be a beam mage. It's not going to make much of a difference. I was going to say I really wanted to have an adventurer for us on this... Uh, Quest because tough bonkers is, you know, tough. Also, I'm getting kind of destroyed here. I'm already in danger. All right, if we can get some good hits off, we can we can complete this pretty quickly. 
Also, seriously, dude, you stopped guarding at that exact moment. Also, yeah, we have that beam mage going for us. There we go, now this will go quick. Also, one thing you can do with this hammer charge is actually like hold it up to the enemy because it's actually going to do damage while you're holding it to him. Like, I'm gonna try to show it here. Like, just holding up the thing to the enemy, like the charged up hammer, that actually does damage them. Albeit not much, it's still, it's still good. All right, come on, where's that last fragment of the Team Meteor? I know you have it. There it is. Finish him off. Got an excellent that time, nice. You've almost defeated it. Almost? I thought we did defeat it, like completely. Nice. Got some big bonuses there. That's going to be a lot of XP. It's like 3,000 something. 3,000. Is that going to get us to the next level too? Almost. Oh, man. And we got a ton of achievements. Did you request five times to the Hammer Lord. I think we'll try to buy some better gear. Collect 300 gem apples. We'll try to buy better gear and... Are we gonna have enough for everyone though? I think we'll just get gear for the sword hero because I'm pretty sure we're going to need gem apples for more quests. So I don't want to waste them all here. So let's do one last quest to finish this off. We have Wispy Woods Tough. It's 11 vigor. It's a if I didn't have this XP orb, we would not be that happy. Alright, so I think I actually want to play as Dr. Healmore for this one. Change role, Doctor. Uh, you can be Hammer Guy, and you will be the Ghostly Sword. Actually, wait a minute, he's actually lower than us. Wait, what are his stats? Yeah, the, the, the adventurer guy is actually a lower level than we are, and I guess I might as well just use an attack potion. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I'm probably never going to use attack potions like this at any other point, especially since I only plan on recording one more video of this. I kind of wish there was a voice that said go or something. All right, nice, we're doing some damage. All right, so also, let's cast that healing area because people need it. This should do a ton of damage. Also, I'm not, why did I cast it over there? You can't get to it. Although now we probably could have. 
Let's heal ourselves up a little bit. Oh! Yeah, watch out for those giant apples. I heal myself. Do some, ma do some massive damage. I'm not sure where I'm, we're going to have any chance of getting a gold medal. Run! That was close. I almost died. Alright, I'm going to need to cat. Oh. Alright, I'm almost dead now. Alright, I need to cast another healing area. Alright, get those pieces of the, uh... There we go. Dang, I was so close to a perfect. At least we got one perfect. I'm, I'm normally so much better on doing that Team Meteor thing when I'm actually on, like, the little tablet part of the Nintendo Switch. But I actually have to record this on the TV because... Huh! Alright, that actually wasn't that tough. If, but... I mean, I did have an attack potion, so... There's that. But anyways, as I was saying, I'm so much better on this if I'm recording on the... Not, not recording, but playing on the actual tablet and not on the TV. But I actually do have to record on the TV to, uh make these videos and I don't think there's any way that we're going to level up right now all right we got some achievements new party quest has been added and then this is two videos in a row where we're ending with dr. heal more Alright, anyways, that's all the time we have for this video. Next time on Super Kirby Clash, that's probably going to be the end of the series because... I didn't want this series to be too long, especially since it's just a gauntlet of enemies. And I also wanted to actually start my new series, which is going to be a full Let's Play pretty soon. So, I hope you're not too sad about this not being a full Let's Play. Maybe I'll continue it at some point, but right now, I think I'm just going to cut it short at five episodes. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe because that would really help out the channel. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. McMaster, out.